to BSL Season 16, round of eight. We got Attentat versus Fisheye. This could be a very exciting one. At Attentat has shown a number, a slew of Zerg antics versus Fisheye, who's a very conservative player. And Attentat may have just run into the wall as Fisheye tends to play very, very conservatively. But, and oftentimes Ultra Cheese can have some trouble against that. But I don't know, Attentat has had a lot of success thus far. Other portions of the bracket, just so you guys are aware, we also have Loco Cito versus Ninja. We've got Monk, who's out there, Wit versus Gauss down the line. And we also have So versus uh, Doodle in group four. So we'll see how it plays out. I really want to see Fisheye open up Gateway first. I have a feeling if he ends up trying to open up Forge first, that's going to just play right into Attentat's hands. We've seen him go two hatch Hydra bus. We've seen him do all sorts of insanity. Overlord is meandering its way away from initial scout. It looks like Attentat going to go ahead and go for the nine pool this time, which should force, if he is going to go for a forge first builder, a forge and initial cannons to defend against a potential Zergling flood. It looks like fortunately for Fisheye, and this is going to be critical, scouted Attentat first, and he's, this is another, ooh, looks like he even went for the drone cancel. One critical aspect is going to be keeping this initial sc scouting probe alive. That's important versus Zerg generally. It is particularly important versus Attentat, given all of the shenanigans that he has pulled in the rounds up to this stage. Initial Overlord being constructed. This does suggest without the Vespin Geyser that there will be an investment in Zerglings early. And unfortunately, well, I don't know if fortunately or unfortunately, I I out into chat land, by the way. Fisheye is in fact opening up the forge. It looks like we should see two cannons to start things off, and we do have a trio of Zerglings being morphed to get the six initial count out. I'll be curious to see if Attentat pushes that right to the front initially and continues with initial Zergling pressure, or if he's going to cycle around and try to take that probe out. First cannon's been planted, second cannon morphing along the way. It looks like we do have a hatchery grab after this. So now, okay, it looks like the Zergling's going to initially ignore that drone. We do have additional Zerglings being produced here. That will bring the count up to eight. As that natural expansion is coming online, this might just be a Zergling flood because this is a very, very late neglected gas here from Adentat. It is possible he'll go for three hatchery. Does he already have a drone in position? I'm looking for a drone to make its way out to show indications of third hatchery before gas. But right now, making his way towards the front, photon cannons are online. And the Zerglings losing one of their brethren on the front already. Fisheye can just plant a gateway to create a more solid seal, but should be fine. Looks like he has taken some significant damage on that probe in the meantime. And this is, yeah, the gas is coming down at near th the three minute mark. So if Fisheye presses things, it looks like, I take it back. We did see that third hatchery before gas. Seeing that late gas, Fisheye should have a good indication that that was in fact the case. Nexus morphing in the Zerglings retreating in the interim, we will see if Attentat opts to go for the three hatch Hydra busts. That could be a way to mitigate what could be trouble of a quick assimilator cybernetics core follow up and initial air control from Fisheye. The Zerglings have made their way back, not quite able to get a surround on that probe. But you can see Attentat really focusing on boxing that probe in. Probe pulling a yakety sax, able to get back around. Some nice movement there from Fisheye. A heavily damaged probe, able to take a look at the natural expansion, seeing just a single drone there. That is a very light drone number as well. And is going to be able to confirm both the location and the timing of that third hatchery. Let's see if he brings that probe back home and uses the Zealot additional scouting or tries to keep it alive. I think he might want another swing here at the natural to get a good look at the drone count. We are in fact seeing Hydralis den, so Attentat opting to go for, I believe, an attempted 973. Right now, already has... Get the count. Seven drones at the main. He's already got his... He's only got eight. So this is more an 8-7 right this second. 8-7-1. See if he fills in the drones, Zerglings making their way back, a Zealot marching up to the, to the third that should draw these Zerglings back away from the front. Might be able to get drone kill. 
and some early disruption and actually shutting down mining here does greatly delay because you need these minerals in a good period of time to get the hydralisks out and in sufficient numbers like every because it's a you, you need to push that timing to make sure that you're in a good economic position to mitigate and just pour out oh a nice positioning of the zealot as well looks like it's going to get maximum zerglings you get four zerglings that's a you've paid for yourself good trade and he's going to get five Man, those Zergling and damage, heavily damaged the last one. It might recharge by the time it's called upon again. Corsair will be up in the air. Plus one weapons upgrading Citadel of Adun on top of it. Let's see. I'm a little concerned that Fisheye isn't maintaining the base mineral surge that he's looking for. Let's see if he walks forward. He will see the Hydralisks based on his Corsair pathing. So sees the Hydralisks incoming. This should be a signal to start planting cannons, or at least save to plant cannons, but it looks like he put he should cancel this cannon in the main immediately, because it's not a Corsair build. And he needs that cannon on the front. Another gateway at the front. Now tacked on two additional cannons. Looks like he's gonna let that one finish. Hydra is starting to work their way on the gateway. I think Fisheye might have these cannons morphed in in time, but time will tell as the Hydralisks are grouping up. Corsair harassing but looks like a single Hydralisks kind of doing that linebacker job and keeping an eye on it. The Forge looks like it is not going to be able to finish weapons one. Attentat pressing forward into the cannon. One cannon down. The Zealot's not on top of the Hydralisks there. Now probes being pulled. Two cannons down. The Hydralisks being pushed back. Attentat continuing to move additional troops down. I think this, yeah, plus one weapon should just be canceled now for some additional cannons. Now more cannons being morphed in and Fisheye needs to be really on the spot with those cannon morphins, because otherwise this can happen. More Hydralisks moving forward. The probe's right on top of the Hydralisks this time. Another cannon falls, but several of those Hydralisks heavily damaged, and some of them not participating in the battle. Probe goes down. Zealot gets taken out at a distance. Doing a bit of push-off. It looks like we have five cannons remaining. I think Attentat, knowing Attentat, is going to dedicate heavily to this. The Corsair is still trying to remain active and frustrating in the background. That is distracting some backup, but we're seeing no hesitation in the Hydralisk construction. The Corsair is, in fact, confirming that it is just non-stop Hydralisk at this stage. If Fisheye can hold, he will end up being okay. He's working on Storm now. He has a High Templar being built at the rear gateway, and a second pylon being built just in case that first pylon has a, a snipe attempt. The Overlord sidling forward to absorb some initial cannon shots. That lets you know Attentat is going to dedicate on the follow-up attack, he's just grouping up more and more Hydralisks. However, it looks like he has decided, <coughs> excuse me, to morph to Lair in the background. Attentat having some trouble with positioning, losing a, a few Hydralisks. So it looks like, continuing to, con it looks like he's opted, it, he feels that Fisheye has sufficient defense and is held. So instead, transitioning into a Hydralisk contain. A lot of cannons on the front to defend against that. I don't know what the perfect number of Hydralisks versus whatever is to be to be blunt. I would love to know that from a Protoss player. The other thing that will be trouble for Adentat here is, is these Hydralisks are just going to be sitting here on the front. Look for the High Templar to meander out once it has enough energy to potentially get a free storm. Also, this Corsair has been very active. It's weakened some Overlords. I don't know that it's gotten any kills, but I think it was able to confirm that lair. Second Gas being dropped. Fourth Hatchery. So now we're seeing a transition back towards five Hatch Hydralisks plus one weapons being researched. And I assume with that layer tech upgrade where it is, we do have the potential for lurker tech to provide some bonus on the contain. Fisheye dropping some additional gateways. He has double forge, wants to maintain that upgrade advantage and play things that direction. Did I miss a side storm? Might have missed a side storm. I don't think I missed a side storm on the front just yet. Four high Templar. Attentat lost an overlord in the corner, it looks like to that Corsair is now on the red. I do not see a robotics facility as of yet. I was almost expecting to maybe see a robotics facility to start, there's a robotics facility, to maybe lift these High Templar out to go for some storm drops to follow things up. Attentat now filling in that drone count, but even more Hydra is starting to move forward. However, there are too many High Templar and too much storm between point A and point B. He's gonna try to take that interior six o'clock hatchery that has not yet been scouted so he just wants to play mass. 
from this stage out. Looks like he's going to end up losing his Corsair. Speed being upgraded for the Overlords to help mitigate Dark Templar and their movement. Spread from Atentat of the Hydralist to negate move out storms. But I like the positioning here. You got He's got a Hydralist to the north and a Hydralist to the south to potentially detect a robotics facility on move out. Now Fisheye opening up his front. He does have a supply lead right this second, but it is not of a large margin. So he's going to have to rely on the storms in these engagements. The Hydralisks guarding the high ground. The Zealots spreading out. An okay size storm. The one to the north playing much better, but the High Templar exposed another solid size storm. And unfortunately, there's not enough Zealots, but the storms have been phenomenal. Absolutely blanking the high, blanketing the Hydralisks. So many of them being wiped out. However, there's still a full control group on the front. 11 supply lead, more High Templar joining the grouping at the front. I don't think any High Templar got picked out. It looked like they were going to get picked off. Observer being constructed. We'll see if there's some Dragoons. As far as a follow-up, plus one armor being upgraded first to make those High Templar a little bit easier to preserve. Fourth Hatchery is online, but not yet constructing. Another Corsair moving out to go ahead and spot out the situation. Sees the Evolution Chamber, but still has not detected this interior 6 location. Or sorry, this interior 12 location. Looks like it might find it now. Which should be an indicator for Fisheye that he needs to get a move on off the two bases. Otherwise, Adentat is going to be able to, if he gets an opportunity, this is kind of the challenge for Protoss, is being able to bust out of contains and take it to your opponent. Slow their economy down somehow before you get locked out of bases. Movement forward as plus one weapons is there. Some Hydros eating, eating some Sidestorm, more Sidestorm on the front. And it looks like the Hydro is slowly being pushed back. This might open up a third for Fisheye. He is taking the high ground at the interior three o'clock location for himself. And yeah, just going to set up camp right there. Corsair continuing to go to work. It looks like it's taking some damage, but is going to get an Overlord kill. So some nice bonus for Fisheye overall. And he did he did for a while. It looked like he canceled the plus one weapons eventually. That put Attentat in the red briefly, allowing Fisheye to grow a bit of a lead. And actually now with a sudden surge in supply, as he's grabbing that third Nexus, and this is usually a breaking point for Zerg, especially with this sort of build, like... Typically, oh, we are seeing a Mutalisk switch. I actually am glad I have that production tab. Otherwise, I might have missed this. Spire is up. Seven Mutalisks in construction. We do have a single Photon Cannon here in the background, but no additional Corsair. <clears throat> so Attentat might be able to strike some damage with this quick tech switch. He's not going to be able to really harass this interior at 3 o'clock, but the main is very, very exposed. And the High Templar, if they're not careful and get out of Dragoon range, could be exposed as well. I'm not sure if, yeah, it looks like Lurker Tech finally morphing, but Fisheye starting to move out. Let's see if these Mutalists get caught. Oh, they might get caught in transition. So yeah, they were on attack move as well, eating a bit of Psy Storm, very softened up, but that looks like Fisheye was moving to go ahead and take an additional base. The Mutalists have gotten to the main. They're going to be able to pick off a few probes here and there, but heavily damaged in comparison. Fisheye... Not going to wait for that, though. He's starting to attack forward into additional expansions. The Mutal is trying to engage High Templar from the rear. They're getting picked off piecemeal. Beautiful side storms from Fisheye as the Hydra is trying to reinforce, and there is just a bloody trail of Hydralists left over, obliterating amounts of side storm, plus some storm left over for the drone line, and Fisheye made that look easy. Crushed that line of Hydralists. With plus one weapon and plus two armor, and only plus one weapons to combat it, the Dragoons are going to outpace the Hydralisks. And I believe that is going to be a victory condition for Fisheye here in game one, as it doesn't matter how many troops are poured out from Attentat. He doesn't have, I think, the economic output to deal with the reinforcements, the continual side storm, and the Dragoons that are on the ground. Is probably going to end up losing both hatcheries and the Evolution Chamber. Battle Probe wants to go ahead and get involved in this as well. Wants a taste of that victory. Great play. Single Zealot blockading, getting a little bit 
And the additional problem for Attentat is, is this third base is getting up and running, and it looks like Fisheye going ahead and grabbing a fourth on top of it, so he's going to be economically behind overall. Granted, he does have three bases, but Attentat calling GG right there, dropping below half the supply line. Well played by Fisheye, game one. Easily dealing with the initial aggression and following it up with solid play. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give like, subscribe, share it with a friend. Appreciate y'all. Thank you for listening.